Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is very We're having a hard looking. time here. Ah, I look okay. Okay. So, guys, today I'm joined with my mommy. Hello, and everyone. My mommy's here from Ireland. As you can tell by the accent, yeah, it's very backward. She's got an Irish accent, lives in London. I've got a London accent, live in Ireland. Yeah, that's Irish for you. Anyway, thank you for that lovely speech. <laughs> So for today's video, I'm gonna ask my mom questions that you'd be afraid to ask your parents about because like we're grand, aren't we? Like we're friends. Yeah, and the fact <laughs> that I don't have to live with her anymore is yeah. makes it so much easier. So much easier. We're also doing this as like a get ready because we are going drinking. We're going to a party. I wish you wouldn't do that. <laughs> really don't like that. So we're gonna like get ready and I'll ask her questions so it's like a just like a casual get ready with me. Yeah. Hope you enjoy. What can, what can go wrong? You make my head look massive because you're so I've got such a little head. No, it's because yeah, I have a little head. Okay. Okay, so question number one is do you have any tips for shaving down there? Shaving your hoo ha. Shaving your hoo ha. Um, always, if you've got to shave, personally, I'd rather you didn't because when it grows back, oh, chaff. Um, <laughs> Wax or cream, personally. What do you mean wax or cream? Go and get it done properly. What if you can't, what if you have really sensitive skin? Mm, yeah, but they've got really good waxes nowadays. Yeah, I feel I mean, like... you know, it's, they don't have, it's not the way it used to be. They've got these waxes that solidify and then they sort of very, I don't know. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, shave, rather not. Like, <laughs> okay, but like, if you had to shave. <laughs> I don't wax mine. Okay. If you had, had to shave, make sure it's a brand new razor and that you use shaving gel or foam. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks for that. Okay. Question number two. What age did you start wearing a thong? A thong. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I'd probably say in my twenties when they first came in out. Oh yeah, because you're. I mean, come on. You forget how old I am. A thong's only like a new thing. Well. Thank you, yes, twenties. <laughs> a new thing. Really good. They came out about the same time as mobile phones. Yeah. In my twenties. Oh, no way, that's mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what's what age do you think someone should start wearing a thong? Definitely not before like eighteen or whatever. Really. Mm. So no. I mean They're so comfy now though. Like they were like I remember when um, everybody started wearing them. Like it was quite scary. Well, the, the idea, idea of wearing them—you feel them, like they're going to be so uncomfortable. No, but they're really they're comfortable. Not. But the thing is, wearing a thong and a low-cut jean—you know, back in the day—that's a thing now again. You want to have the thong sticking the thong. out? It's that's disgusting. like you if know, you do that, like just copy. Yeah, on. just don't. Just I mean, that's, don't. that's just don't. Just get a hold of yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, next. When should what age? This is a good one. What age should a girl start going on birth control? As soon as she starts having sex, or before she starts having sex, actually. Mm. So she gets used to how it makes her feel because it's pretty can be pretty shit, and it's also the realization that it will affect your weight, no matter how much you think it won't. It will affect your weight, but rather to be fat <laughs> than pregnant. As far as I'm concerned, no problem. What age was I? When I first went on the pill. Yeah, but you were different. You had endometriosis, so yeah. you had to, uh, it was done for Medical clinical persons, clinical reasons. Okay. You want some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to dab it in! Dab it in, oh my lord. Can you move over? It's like a plastering job. <laughs> oh, my daughter, the plasterer. Oh, I suppose it covers all the blemishes. Not that you have any blemishes. I was going to really say, pretty. would you like a slap? You're really pretty. Yeah, you are. Look like me. Oh, what a backhanded compliment that was. Absolutely. <laughs> Question number four. What age can a boy sleep over? I think it's... N well, yeah. Okay. It depends where you are legally. 
you know, obviously, but it also depends on how, is it sleep or is it sex? Mm. I would like to think that my children who have had partners stay over wouldn't dream of having sex while I was in the house. Um, <laughs> or if they do, make sure it's very quiet. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really the right person to ask because I'm sort of very easy going about things like that. As long as it's it's not like somebody brand new. I, I wouldn't like to wake up in the morning and go down in my PJs and find a complete stranger sitting at the kitchen table yeah. who stayed the night. If you're in a relationship with someone, I think it's more about the relationship than the age and what's what is the relationship status. Yeah. You've been together six, eight months. Yeah, definitely. Two nights? No. No, fuck off. <laughs> Not on my couch. Oh, funny. Jules here, everybody. Do you want to say hi to your channel? It is my channel, I suppose, so. Do you want to say hi to them? To your fans? Oh, jeez, Hey! Oh, God. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what, Josh? Be gone. Be gone. Ah! Oh, There's four o'clock me. Oh, leave! <laughs> what is your body count? My body count, how many have I killed? Why does every parent say that? <laughs> Do you know what your body count is? What, how many people I've slept with? You've had made love with. Why have I got glitter on my face? I don't own glitter. Um, <gasps> I put the wrong foundation on. No wonder it's so fucking light. It is wonder, you look very... Um, I'm just going to put this over. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So you don't know what your body count is? No. Convenient. <laughs> okay. Does size matter? Uh, yeah, to a certain extent. Care to elaborate? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean, kind of? I mean, it has to be of a, obviously. I meant height. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you animal. size does matter when it comes to height. No. It can never go out with a guy shorter than you. Sorry. I meant penis, by the way. I gathered that part. <laughs> number eight. Okay. Is it normal to feel nothing during sex? God, no. <laughs> if you're feeling nothing, definitely teach him. <laughs> no. But like, I feel like when... Like other videos I've watched like this and that question was asked like the girls have said like at the very beginning of sex like it's hard to feel anything. Anything as in what? Physical? Mental? Physical. I mean, what do you mean not feel anything? I don't know. I mean what, they fucking numb or something? <laughs> Maybe. No, no. I think you sh if you have no feeling then it's not being, it's not right. Yeah. I mean, you should have emotional, physical, mental, it should be everything. I mean, you know, that's my, my what I think anyway. I... See, I can't do that anymore, because every time I do that, it goes into the rivers of... Wrinkles. Wrinkles. The W word. Mm-hmm. Well, when you're my age, you'll have wrinkles too. I'll be dead by then. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um, no, 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 no. We're, we're drawing the line. At... No, be oh. quiet. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Jesus. What, in your opinion, is the best type of birth control? <laughs> having a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having a baby. Uh, put you off sex for life. Um, it depends. Again, it's all relevant. If you're good at taking the pill every day, then that. Obviously, if you've had a baby, the coil is the best thing because, but then it doesn't agree with anyone, everyone. Mm -hmm. So, again, there isn't a one box suits all. Mm. So, next. How do you know when your son or daughter has lost their virginity? Well, you told me. <laughs> I never told you though. You, you did. knew. No, you knew. And like you just said, like my mum knew like who it was with and everything, and I'd never told her who it was. Tell me. You did tell I me. I swear on my life I did not tell you until like after and then you said that you knew. I uh, well I sort of did you I think you kept a diary that I read did I? I can't remember. Rude. Rude. 
absolutely no privacy in the old house. Obviously. Obviously not. I can't you? choose which well, what you tell me and then you brother. tell me everything and then tell me nothing. So no, I can't. Everybody remember. knew my brother. He he fucking put out a billboard. <laughs> um, number eleven. Uh, do you remember losing your virginity? Mm, yes. How old were you? Seventeen. Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> you're full of shit. It was probably <gasps> twelve. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I was seventeen too. 17's a nice age, I feel. Yeah. Because you're just about to be a woman. Well, you're a woman. You're a woman, but it's... Let uh... me be your woman. <sighs> How do you let somebody go that is toxic for you? Oh, God. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> oh, it's very hard. Mm. What would be your advice? <sighs> to look at it as your best friend or your daughter or whatever and realise that what you think is, you know. No, I don't, I don't even know how to say it. I don't know. You just have to realise that you deserve better. Mm. And that the toxicness is like a, surrounds you and it brings you down. Yeah. And it's very hard to say no to it after years and years of feeling that that's all you deserve because that's what most people get in toxic relationships. That's all they ever think that they're entitled to. Mm. So you have to pull up your big girl pants and uh, yeah. realise that you deserve so much more. And I'd rather that you were on your own than with someone who didn't appreciate you yeah. or treated you like crap, as I did myself. Mm. It's the same with like friendships, though. Yeah, definitely. Doesn't have to talk. Shitty friends are literally. I think shitty friends are worse than shitty like boyfriends. Yeah. Do you rather be alone than with somebody who's false and fake? So friend or yeah. partner. Mm. So yeah, most definitely. And on that note, no, we're and not gents, done. No. We are no, done. We're nearly I done. I need to straighten my hair. We only have four more questions. Uh, you've got five minutes, so speed them up now. <laughs> okay. Go. Uh, was I an accident? Yes. Was Aiden an accident? No. Aiden's my little brother, by the way. He's not a little though. You weren't like an accident, seven, but four. didn't really want children. But it happened. I like traumatising, but there you go. Yeah. Uh, Come on, hurry up. Did you do a lot of drugs in the 90s? No, I was actually didn't. I, I was always far too drunk by the time I actually got to handing out the drugs, which meant I was normally asleep or gone home by the time the drugs came out, so no. Wow, didn't do a huge amount of drugs. You're crazy. Didn't do a huge amount of drugs, no. Okay. How do you grow to accept who you are and what you look like? Well, Jesus, aren't we just gorgeous? I mean, how do you not grow to accept it? <laughs> yeah, it hurts when you're really pretty. It's hard. <sighs> yeah, you gotta look in the mirror and see the best of you. So, mm. and I think we're pretty well blessed. Put it this way, we're not, our faces aren't ugly. <laughs> Oh my god, what? you're so vain. Isn't everybody? She no. says colouring in her <laughs> eyebrows and I'm vain. Don't put that on, that sounds awful. You do, yeah, and it, you are, on. it is going on. No, it's not, no, it's not. Don't put that on. I'll uh -oh. drop your camera from a great height. <laughs> How do you accept who you are? You look in the mirror and you accept what it is. You can change it, you can paint it. You, you can, can change paint. your hair and you can change your clothes. You can change your mind, it's just the, that's just the way it goes. You can say goodbye and you can say hello, but you'll always <coughs> find your way back home. She's actually a good singer. I don't know why she sings like a lunatic when she does her videos, but anyway, yes, accept what you are and what God gave you and uh, make the most of it. And if, you, up. and if you don't want to accept it, get a good doctor. <laughs> oh, buy a hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marry hat. a rich man. Big hat. <laughs> Marry a rich man and have plastic surgery. Okay, number okay. 17. Is it normal to hate your body? I don't, I don't think it's normal to hate it. I feel Everybody like has... nowadays is very difficult though. Yeah, there's a lot. Of... when you were at my age. Yeah. Uh, there was still body image and diff but it was different. Obviously, we didn't have social media when I was your age. So, uh, but there was still, I mean, we had page three girls, you know, Sam, what's her face, and Baywatch Babes, and what was her name? Sam Waterfield. I can't remember it, and like the blue, the, oh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but all the boobs. So, yeah, I mean, there was still body conscious and body image, but mm. I think it's, uh, 
I don't think anyone, it's not normal to hate it, but there are bits, I hate my legs. It doesn't mean I'm going to chop them off, yeah. and I can't really do much about it, But and I don't like getting old, but I can't stop that. Mommy turned 50, we won't say how many years ago, and she sobbed for the entire day. Like, went in and we were like, happy birthday, like, you know, Rachel Green, when she turns 30, it was ridiculous. I didn't take no yes, notice. Yes, you did, you psycho. Where was I when I turned 50? Crying in the kitchen. I was in Spain. No, you weren't. I was. No, you weren't. She's okay, crazy. We'll agree to disagree on that so, one. Aw, the last question is, how do you get a boy to like you? Don't be vain. <laughs> <laughs> What's not to like? <laughs> you have to like yourself first. Says the divorcee. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> show, show. You have to like yourself. You want people to like you, like yourself. Be confident and uh, be nice. Confidence is key. Yeah, be nice. Be nice. Yeah, be kind. Be nice. People like nice, kind people, and that doesn't matter what you look like. Now, really, those eyebrows are getting bigger and bigger by the second. Would you ever put the pen down? Your okay. attitude is stinky. No, my attitude. Okay. Do you want to ask me a question, real quickly? If you could have any mum in the world, who would you have? Victoria Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> well, I brought you up. Right? <laughs> On that note, goodbye. <laughs> oh, funny. Mom, we have to do a goodbye. A real. Shut on my ring. Shut on my ring. Okay. Well, that's funny. I'm just kidding. I'd have you, of course. Thank you, darling. I'm stuck with you. Yes. Thanks for watching, guys. It's hard to think I've got that big head <laughs> out of your freshly waxed hoo ha. <laughs> <laughs> Nunny. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If and you, uh, I'm sorry. You're Michael. nearly worse than Joel. Like, <laughs> shut up talking over me. I'm, sorry. I'm, getting, I'm getting a hot flash. <sighs> Menopause. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe and follow me on Instagram for any okay. other video updates. Can you not speak when I'm doing an outro? And I'm, I'm actually going to leave like Instagram now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.